Hi, I'm Katie. Did you know that nearly 9 million people suffer from psoriasis and related disorders? Believe it or not, I'm one of them, and my illness started when I was five. While most people think psoriasis is just dry skin, they're wrong. It's much deeper than that. Even when I don't look sick, there's a lot going on under my skin affecting my whole body. Lots of people with psoriasis don't ever get properly diagnosed or treated. Half are only treated for the symptoms, not the actual disease. And while psoriasis and other illnesses are often inherited, two people in the same family can have different forms and degrees of the disease. In fact, psoriasis is one of a group of diseases called immune disorders. That means there's an imbalance in my immune system. The system that's supposed to keep me healthy mistakenly sends out wrong signals to other cells, alerting them to attack the enemy, a phantom germ. But really, my body is just fighting me. My skin cells go into overdrive, making red, inflamed, itchy, and scaly patches. This is what it looks like. But even though some people think it's contagious, it's not. And you can't measure psoriasis by the location of the patches. Psoriasis can suddenly become worse without any changes to the skin. And having psoriasis is associated with a higher risk of unseen illnesses, such as diabetes, high blood pressure, Crohn's disease, heart attacks, and even depression. Yes, depression. Most people like me are embarrassed by the scaly red patches of dry skin. We often hide our skin and pain from friends and family. If that's not bad enough, about 40% of people with psoriasis will develop psoriatic arthritis, an immune imbalance that spreads to our bones, and that hurts. I get really painful joint pain. Like other kinds of arthritis, psoriatic arthritis can cripple people for months or even years at a time. And unlike other kinds of joint pain, psoriatic arthritis increases the risk of dying from a heart attack or cancer. The disease itself can cause me to die four to five years sooner than if I didn't have it. At first, doctors could only give me treatment for the skin symptoms of psoriasis, but now there's hope. Recently, new medicines with big names have been discovered that shut off different sources of inflammation and have helped people, like me, with the most severe forms of psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis. In fact, when it's under control, balancing life with psoriatic arthritis doesn't have to be the struggle it used to be. Just look at my sister, Sam. She's 17 years old now and quite an athlete. When she was younger, like me, she enjoyed dance, gymnastics, and pole vaulting until she was diagnosed with psoriatic arthritis. She was treated with a drug that shut down her immune system. It worked for a couple of years, but then the pain and swelling returned. She needed a higher dose of an older, earlier drug, but it was more than her body could tolerate, and she couldn't do anything. Something had to be done. Thankfully, really smart, innovative researchers developed newer, more targeted treatment. Sam's rheumatologist put her on the latest medicines that shut down specific parts of the immune system. Soon after starting the new therapy, Sam told mom and dad that she never knew she could feel so good. And today, Sam does gymnastics, soccer, and pole vaulting. And just like Sam got better at pole vaulting through practice, doctors and scientists got better at finding the root cause of psoriasis by learning how biologics were making a difference. They found that there are several genes that cause different forms of psoriasis. And they learned that, just like many other diseases, shutting down immune signals is important. But it would be even better to treat the disease before it spreads, and then come up with the right combination of treatments and lifestyle changes to keep immune disorders in check. Now scientists and innovators are developing new treatments that just don't pull the plug on the affected parts of the immune system, but actually restore the balance itself. These drugs are called immunomodulators, and they work by going inside cells to reestablish the connections between immune regulators. That means it might be possible to take one pill that would not only reduce pain and suffering, but actually stop the disease altogether. For me, this is unimaginable. I've lived in pain for over 10 years, so sign me up. What? Why? I'm not sick enough? 
My mom says politicians, our health plans, and even doctors argue that patients with psoriasis and related illnesses shouldn't get these new medicines until older and less effective drugs stop working because the new ones are too expensive. That's sort of like telling people not to get a vaccine until you're sick. It's stupid. People with psoriasis and other immune disorders always have to fight twice. First, we have to fight with the pain and fear of dying sooner. And then we have to fight those who want to limit access to newer treatments until things get worse. Preventing the progression of psoriasis would save millions of life years, save billions of medical and productivity costs, and add trillions of dollars to our economy because more people would be living healthier and longer lives. There would be less pain and fewer people with chronic and costly illnesses if we treated every psoriasis sufferer with immune balancing medicines. It would cost less than 2% of what we spent on healthcare today. With more research, earlier diagnosis, and better access to the right combination of targeted treatments, we can stop the pain and suffering of millions now and in the future. Help me spread the word on how innovation can overcome psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis. Let everyone know that there are a lot of reasons to hope. Go to balancenow.org, download our song, and join the many other groups that are making up for lost time against psoriasis. Follow us on Facebook and send your support to the World Psoriasis Day. Contact your elected officials and health plans and tell them that together we can reduce the spread of psoriasis. As my sister and I have shown, with more speed and more balance, there's no limit to how high we can go.